um, I've been battling with this. You know, at different stage of my business life, guys, I have battled with people telling me, "Oh, your prices are too high. It's higher than you know some other people we have worked with." And this is exactly what I did to overcome it. In my almost 13 years of doing business, I have had several times where I doubled down on my prices, you know, increased my prices for my services because I render mostly services like blogging services, adverts, book editing and all of that. And then people tell me that, oh, I'm way more expensive than XYZ people, right? And this is what I did to overcome all of that and still nail my goals. Now, if you're at that point where you're wondering, oh, I don't want to reduce my price because people don't want to pay because it's not going to pay me. I have been in that drum roll for a while and I see that it doesn't pay me and my price will serve me better. Now, hang in. This video is for you. If today is your first time, welcome to the Cheap Money Gang. This is a whole school where we talk about money and how to grow wealth. And if this is the kind of thing you want to see, please give the video a thumbs up and click on the subscribe button. Let the bell also ring on all. That way you will never miss any update. Okay? Alright, so let's go straight into what I did and what you should do to make sure that people don't make you price your services like peanuts because you're going to be unhappy. You're going to go ahead and not meet your, your money goal. You don't want to displease yourself and please other people but all the same let us look at how to how to make the compromises and you still get what you want okay number one when they say your prices are higher than your competitors go back and do a market research look at it in the eyes of who you are serving who are your ideal clients right now when you decide on who they are like in my case i work with writers and authors right so there are different kinds of authors there are first time authors there are multiple authors there are authors who want quality work there are some who don't really mind so who do i want to serve right when you decide on who you will know what can this person pay without feeling like they're overpaid or they are not ready for it you know what i mean so go back to do your money research it will help you to place your pricing where the people you are targeting can afford that this sounds like, mm, but then this and that. See, it's very simple. There are different kinds of clients. You decide whether you want to serve the masses, you want to serve the middle range, or you want to serve premium. Have I given you an idea? Whatever category of people you want to serve in that same sector that you're serving, look at what their price range would be that they can pay easily there are certain people that if you want to serve them but your prices are way low the propensity of them thinking that you're not good enough is there they're going to leave you and go to some i'm sure you had that experience where you're wondering i actually gave this person a very fair price but they went to some other person that's that charges even way higher that will happen so you have to define who your target audience are yeah number two thing i did was communicate your value so people have said ah, it's expensive oh my gosh let them know that okay it's not about the money with our services you don't have to rethink you know whether this work is good or not because we have three editors go through your work for instance so they're not thinking it's just you that's one two if you're going to work with us our time frame is really very short so you're going to get your work in four weeks as against maybe six weeks that people in the industry can provide and this is just examples right again you can let them know that working with us might also give you uh, other bonuses let's say for instance somebody wants their book edited i keep using my example from my industry right so if you edit with us we are going to have three editors work on your work we are also going to make sure that we publicize your book when it's published you get what i mean so they feel like okay so i get even much more than what I paid for. People always want to pay what will make them feel like they cheated you. Get that, get that. So communicate the value and say, okay, I get the fact that you think this money is a lot, but look at it this way. Talk to them about the things that are their pain points, the things that are their fears that they don't want to ever see arise about that work or about that service or that product and let them consider it. Then the third thing that you should do that I also do is to have your pricing in tiers. Make your fee in tiers, T-I-E-R, like in tiers, in packages. So let's say for instance, let me use my, my service for example again. So somebody wants to edit their work 
I could have a package that says, okay, so um, this work, it needs three levels of work. It needs developmental editing, copy editing, and proofreading. For us to do all that three, right, within this time frame, this is the amount. I'm telling you what I do, like how I have run my business since I upgraded it in 2013, right? Then if you don't want us to do this, if you want us to just do copy editing and proofreading, this is how much, so it's something lower. If you want us to do just proofreading, this is how much. You know what I mean? Now, you must be able to tear your pricing in that way so that people can see, oh, okay, I want this packet. In fact, I was talking recently with someone very close to me, very dear to me, and I'm like, make your services that way where people can see, okay, if I, if I pay this amount, what and what do I have? So they have it already. Oh, okay, so I get this, I get this, I get this. Or something that they can tick off and when they tick it off, say, okay, so this equals to this very simple you know why because services mostly are always undervalued and that's what it is so if you must be able to sell you must be able to let people know what they get for every price and let them have different prices have the low the low range and have the high range but let them know at every point what they get for each of those packages you know what i mean that's another way to make sure that you get in your money in full, right? So people choose what they want and there's a legal understanding that this is what I paid for and this is what I'm expecting. Nobody cheats anybody, okay? Now, the other thing that I do is provide testimonials from satisfied clients of yours. This thing works like magic. Testimonials, oh my gosh. This was one marketing that I didn't know on time until, you know, I think it was 2021 that I marketed one of my online courses and then the testimony, people were like, oh my God, people started paying more when I started sharing what people who had taken the course and who they are now are. And I said, okay, oh my God, I've been, I've been delaying. And especially when you're selling something high ticket. See, social proof is so important to people. They want to know that, oh, okay, if this kind of person of this caliber did this or bought this or used this, then I should be able to get in. See, we are just like that. That's how human behavior is, right? So provide testimonials of your work and the people that have used it and what it has solved for them. You're going to see more people not, over, not price you a lot, okay? Why do you think supermarkets have price tags. You can't walk in there, look around, see other people shopping, then you want to be the one to bargain on the price. No, something you will just feel like, oh my God, look at the ambience, look at people shopping. I mean, I'm already here, so I could as well just buy and go. Yes, so that's what happens. Now, another thing you should do so that nobody prices you lower, nobody tells you the prices are so high, is uh, offer limited time promotions. For instance, let's say that the price of your product is or your service is say hundred dollars some people think it's high end sometimes crash the, the price to like fifty dollars for a reason maybe for a holiday just run a promo that's what i mean run a promo and make it like okay you have to get in at a very short time like one day two days five days of sales and let people come in to take advantage of it at that time then you go back to your normal price that way people can actually wait that of course you know people actually wait for sales so that's the same thing people just wait like okay no around october they usually have this flash sale where they make the prices lower so i'm going to cash in at that time yeah so that becomes another option so that time of the year people wait to cash into your product if they feel it's so high or rather it's higher than what they can afford so if somebody tells you for instance oh i didn't think it was this high the price is quite higher let them know that okay we're going to run sales sometime in this month or this time or like on my birthday I did something like that right I brought down my cost that was about $300 I brought it down to about 150 for people to take advantage of for my birthday week you know something like that so you can get you know clients from different and when they come and taste the product and feel like oh it's actually worth the full price you know they're also gonna encourage other people and they become your brand evangelist if you know what I mean yeah so another way to to shut the mouth of people saying your prices are so high is show flexibility with your pricing, right? Like for instance, if people say, oh, okay, we can't afford this now. There's something called pay small, small, you know, in my country. So you could pay and uh, keep depositing until when you're done, you could now have the product shipped to you or you can't pick it up, you know, something like that. You can have a, a payment plan. Maybe you can pay two times or three times. And then at the end of the payment, you assess the product or you can't pick up the product. You know what I mean? That kind of thing also shows that somehow you want you want to make your product available to as many people as possible so it shows that you're flexible right 
Okay, so when they say your price is so high, you know so many things to tell them right now or to do already before they even ask you for discounts and all of those things that you don't want to hear, right? Okay, so when people also say your prices are so high, another thing you can do is to look at your costing again, analyze it properly. Look at all the different elements of what you're spending to make that product or that service available. Make sure that you look at, you know, the total cost again. Look at if there, are, if, if there are certain costs that you could actually get lower prices from, you know, you can get cut off so that you could also reduce the price without losing your profit, if you know what I mean. So say there's a particular product that is costing you X, Y amount to add. You could look at if there are alternatives that are lower and still the same quality. So you could go with that so that you can have reduced cost. So I just analyze your cost and see what's possible and what's good. You could find something, you know, that you could leverage on to cut down cost on and then, you know, change your price, right? The next thing you can also do when people say, Oh, we can't afford you. We can't. Is educate them. So they don't know, right? So they are seeing you like, okay, let me even give you an example. Recently, we usually go fuel our gas with the gas cylinder, fuel stations everywhere, and all of them have this almost the same cost range, right? One could be just 50 naira less, you know, that kind of thing. And then we just found a place just near our neighborhood where we don't even need to go so far. But you know what it us? Like, you fuel your gas, these guys will take their time. Okay, like, let me tell you the most recent one. It was a rainy day, so they, they had to come to the car to take the cylinder, fill it up and all that. By the time they returned it, they didn't just all clean it up because that was the first thing that struck us. They will clean your cylinder like it becomes like brand new. So on that day, they didn't just clean only. They now wrapped the burner with the cellophane bag so that the rain will not affect it. Can you imagine that kind of level of customer care? I was blown away. This is not a high traffic place. It's not like a, an aesthetically pleasing area or all that, but they understood something. And I knew that it will take, it's just a matter of time. They're going to have to expand. They're going to take over the market. Because why? They are able to not just provide a service. They educate you. They make you feel like they are with you. So your customers might just need you to open their eyes to why you are the best. So educate them about the long-term value of the service you're rendering to them. Let them understand why they don't need to miss out on your services. Let them know how much you put in to provide that service or that product for them, right? Sometimes you might need to take them behind the scene about how you produce your product. You know that kind of thing? It gives a lot of confidence and it makes people to now say, Oh, I see. I didn't think about that that way. Yeah, you could just have one several disciples <laughs> the next strategy you can use so people are saying your prices are too high don't just dismiss it ask them how and why do they think it's high yeah so get feedback from them let them tell you you know you'll be shocked what you will learn they're going to open your eyes with some things that your competitors are doing or some add-ons that they are giving or something that you may not have considered that way you look at what you could include into your services to make it even better so seek feedback from the people who are saying you're so high and all of that it could help because we're not 360 degrees human beings we like we don't know everything so you could just get a feedback that will just blow your markets you know they'll just give you another strategy to implement that will help your market go viral if you know what i mean so don't dismiss it ask them try to to get them to tell you why they think your costs are higher. You might discover a thing or two about your strategy that will work or not work. Change the target market. So if people in your country or a particular people are, they keep saying your prices are high because of the, the kind of services that they get there, then target a different kind of people. You can target a different segment of people, a different income let status people of a, a different income status target people of a different country so who can comfortably pay for your fee and tell you thank you right i once edited a book for someone in 2013 and she paid from another country that wasn't you know i mean their currency were even higher than ours she paid willingly and she sent me two pairs of shoes as a thank you that's what i mean so somebody else is here whining that oh the prices are high another person is like okay pays you immediately wait for you to deliver the job appreciates the job and sends you a package again 
So why don't you want to get more of those kind of clients? It's very simple. So you ask me how retarget your, your market to address these other people that you want to target. How you market to people who are struggling to pay your fee is not the same thing. It's not the same words and, and the expressions you use to get people who can pay you and even give you gifts. Right? I hope this was able to help. So next time someone tells you your price is too high, don't be in a hurry. To allow low self-esteem to set in, imposter syndrome to set in, look at it again critically through these 10 lenses that I've given you and then decide what works best for your business. Does that make sense? Which of these are you going to apply? Which have you applied that you think you can share with us for that to learn? Is there something else you, you did to help the pricing when people said it was higher that I may not have mentioned? Please drop in the comments so that I can learn as well and I'll come your way again really pretty soon. See ya. Bye.